Okay, so let's take a look at the co-working toolkit that we've got here. As you can see, this is in Google Drive. So first things first, you're probably going to need a Google account to be able to access this. When you are given access, it's going to be through Google. So you're going to get an email invite. And if the invitation I send to you, if the email address you give me isn't a Google account, you want to use a different one, just go ahead and let me know which email address you would like me to send the invite to and I'll make sure that we get you access. So once you get access to the toolkit, you're gonna to see, you've got a bunch of nice colorful folders here and they're organized roughly in terms of the different kinds of uses that you might have. So just starting from the top, we've got books, just a couple of quick little things in here. This is a free ebook that is um, available through um, these folks who just uh, did this because they wanted to kind of help promote the idea of masterminds and they've got their own businesses, things like that. So thanks Liz and Scott for being able to spread the love for masterminds. And um, so I just kind of threw that in there because it's super handy. Uh, I'm a big fan of masterminds. We use it for our groups. We use it in our co-working spaces. So lots of good stuff there. No More Sink Full of Mugs is a book that I made. And I threw it in here because why not? Uh, it's super handy, got lots of good stuff in here. So feel free to enjoy that. All kinds of good handy stuff about building better culture in your co-working space. Back to the main directory here and into business planning where this is where we've got some of the more valuable materials in the uh, in this toolkit. First of all, uh, we did some 2017 planning materials I'm planning on doing this again in subsequent years, so you can expect to see new versions of this, but we had a Groundhog Day Planner, which was basically a way for you to review your previous years and plan your subsequent years coming up. So a little bit of review of previous years and your purpose and planning ahead for the next year ahead. So feel free to take this and take little chunks of it. There are some really handy little bits here around community building and what you're going to do on different intervals, different groups you might want to interact with and kind of a monthly planner for the rest of the year. So uh, feel free to enjoy that in the 2017 planning materials. And then if you're starting a new space or if you're considering making some changes, check out the business model folder. This is where we've got our business model template and uh, templates for a few different kinds of spaces, pro formas, things like that. I'm not going to get too far into that in this particular folder, but I'll just show you in the business model premium section. This is where we've got the dynamic business model template, and I am going to open this up for you. Uh, I've got a whole other video that explains this, but this is going to be able to give you a comprehensive way of determining uh, what your different numbers could be, income and expenses for uh, projections based on different um, sizes and expenses for your space. So uh, that's all in this area. We've also got a folder within here for membership prepayments. So if you want to be able to get uh, members to prepay for membership before you open up, uh, this gives you a way to be able to calculate those things. And I'm going to just kind of show you a little sneak preview of how that looks. Yeah, you can kind of get a vibe for where your members are at, how much they pay, what kind of discounts they get. Uh, by looking at all the numbers here and making appropriate edits. Heading back up now into business model premium and then back up into business planning. Um, we've got a couple of worksheets that we've created ourselves, including the long-term planning worksheet, which gives you a ability to do some long-term planning. Think about what your uh, business model is going to look like in the future and how you can architect your organization to last forever. And uh, this is, again, a kind of a free prepayment plan template email, same as what you saw in the other folder, kind of a duplicate there. Uh, and then seasonal planning, this is super, super useful. If you are planning uh, out your year, you can get a sense for how you're going to be able to attract members during different times of year. So uh, identifying major holidays, identifying important opportunities where you could be recruiting people. We kind of want to get into a rhythmic thing when it comes to recruiting members of co-working spaces so you can use that sheet. 
Uh, and then a pre-launch checklist, which actually I'm going to preview it. There you go. That'll make it a little faster to load. So this will give you an idea of just some quickie things that you can keep in mind when you are getting ready to launch your space. Backing out to the main directory again and going into community folder. Nice bright red for you here. Community Canvas, another awesome free resource that um, one of my friends created, Fabian. Thank you, Fabian. I just copied it in here where you'll be able to get some more information. And I thought there were more files in here. I got to go see if I can dig them up. But in the meantime, how to design for all levels of membership, super helpful. Different kinds of members at different levels is very important. So if you've got people who are not just your paying members, but people who are maybe just kind of on the sidelines looking out what's going on and then different levels of members, members who are just hanging out versus members who are more involved. So some thoughts there uh, for when you're getting started, how to start a community from scratch, how to find other existing communities to uh, help you to do your recruiting. And then um, into the member engagement status tracker. And again, this is a super handy, uh, just another handy thing. But this was based on uh, some conversations I'd had with other space owners where they needed to get a sense of who their members were, who's really engaged, who's not so engaged. This is something you can do with your team uh, where basically get a sense of First of all, put the names of all your different members in these first columns and then allow different members of your staff to just list off which ones they think are engaged at different levels. And this will just give you a vibe for who you want to be able to follow up with in different ways. You want to be able to keep those great relationships with the super engaged members and the folks that need attention or folks you don't know anything about. You want to be able to figure out what to do with them and how to uh, perhaps figure out how to retain them or, or resolve what the issues are with those members. So a uh, super great way to just get a sense of what's going on in your community and what kind of improvements you can make. Under the higher porpoise organizing sheet, this is a great way of getting started, but you can also use this as a way of kind of revisiting things when you are trying to get a refocus on your future. And uh, this is all about getting a sense of what your purpose is. Onward to the quick community audit. Uh, this is kind of a way of pairing off with that member engagement status tracker, maybe a little bit more lightweight. We've just list, list off um, the most engaged members and what you can do and the least engaged members and what you can do. Again, quick, easy, printable, nice thing you could bring to a team meeting. Moving back into the main toolkit directory and under graphics, I just created uh, some handy co-working graphics. So if you just want to be able to promote the idea of co-working, there are some handy little co-working related graphics in here. So feel free to help yourself to those. Might be able to beef those up over time, but for now, just a quick little simple thing. Operations in here, you're going to be able to have some uh, handy things if you're just getting started. Again, membership agreements are super handy. We've compiled some from our members and some others that we found across the web. But then we, of course, created our own agreements, which you can make copies of. So if you hop into here, you can see some legalese from membership agreements that we've used in the past. Really easy for you to be able to just copy and swap out the information. Of course, when you do this, make sure you do a find and replace, change out uh, New Work City and the names of the other organizations that are involved so that you don't have to um, have my business's name in your business. So anyway, lots of more materials in here, lots of other uh, bits that you can use for inspiration. So just to give you an idea, um, these are documents that people have made available and I'm just compiling them here to make it easier for you to have a look at. So thanks to all the folks who have created and shared these handy files. Moving back into the parent operations directory here, We've got an amazing uh, manual. This is for ambassadors. These are the people who uh, are uh, the folks who kind of work in your space to help staff the desk, but maybe don't actually work as employees. This was actually contributed by Liz from Peloton Labs in Portland, Maine. So thanks, Liz, for that. And uh, I've got my own version of that, ambassador, community cultivator, same idea. Uh, this is for recruiting new folks to help you uh, share a desk and uh, help you uh, staff the uh, front desk of your space. So again, real easy Google Doc for you to just kind of swap out some data and 
be able to copy and paste it and post it. For actual employees, this is a huge document I created for a client and you now can take it and use it as a starting point for your uh, employee manual. So use this as a starting point, swap out all the specific information about your space and um, be able to kind of use this as an inspiration for your own manual, swap out all this information as you see fit, but at least I'm giving you some blanks to fill in which should make it a lot easier for you uh, to be able to get started creating this document, which frankly, we didn't have until several years after we were open. So hopefully this will save you some time so you can have a nice uh, manual ready to go when you open or shortly after you open, you can you know, have this ready so it's easier to train up employees. Uh, Iris Cavanaugh offered this up uh, online as well, so I put it in here. She has a great consultancy as well, so check out her services. She specifically is really great when it comes to HR and hiring. She has some great resources around that, so check out her website, coworkingwithiris.co, and I just uh, dropped in the sample job description that she created and offered up here. Office supply policies, again, is just a very simple document that we used for basic things like office supplies and printer etiquette, things like that. So feel free to use that as your starting point for that. Same things with printing, faxing, scanning procedures. Again, you want to be able to make it real easy to uh, for people to find the printer drivers and the instructions for how to add their printer. So just make sure that you do that and you can feel free to just use our template as a starting point make it a little bit easier for you moving back up to the main directory now we're going to go into programming and in programming this is where there's a lot of really cool stuff that we've created over the years that could be super helpful to you in attracting new members retaining your existing members just building a really great culture first and foremost is Cotivation, my favorite program that we created and it's got a whole thing this is actually something that my friend Susan and I turned into a whole program that we were selling and training people on for a while and it's now included in this toolkit so if you're interested in it please do talk to us it includes all kinds of materials for being able to create and promote your own collaborative motivation group that's what cotivation stands for collaborative motivation and it's basically a um, a shared accountability group that is a very simple construct for members to meet and set goals, but we found it to be an incredibly effective way of getting members to form really strong bonds and be able to start helping each other with the stuff that they're working on. So I highly recommend doing a Cotivation program. Uh, if you do end up joining as a member of the Organizers Club and you're interested in this, please let me know and I will be more than happy to help you get it set up. So you can see here, there's just plenty of materials. I'm just gonna go right into the main um, document which is the organizer guide and you can see here that there's a whole document a whole little book really taking you through the whole process of becoming a cotivation organizer tips and tricks and just the whole process behind it and uh, shout out again to Susan Dorsch who was uh, the main force behind putting this together working with me on this she's just been an absolute genius taking this to the next level so definitely definitely copy this idea take it and run with it. It's going to be instrumental in helping you get your culture to where you want it to be. NWCU is a educational program that I ran out of New York City, the co-working space that I ran in New York for a long time. And this was something, I'm not going to get into the specifics of the documents here, but just to tell you, we were able to get a bunch of meetup groups that were well established that needed a venue to um, agree to using our space free of charge if they were willing to promote the services of sponsors that we would get to subsidize the cost of hosting their events in our space. And so this was a nice way of getting some great meetups in our space, which was awesome for marketing and also generating some cash from some sponsors who wanted to be able to get their name in front of some awesome people building businesses and into the tech scene in New York. And so we have some sponsorship templates and some um, materials from this program. If you're again, if you're interested in something like this, let me know. I'll walk through some of this with you and just give you a sense of how this could work for you. There are a number of other New Work Cities Organizers Club members who are working on similar things, so would love to walk through this with you. 
back up to programming. There's a lot of like little fun things you can do here. Uh, disconnect to reconnect, just a very simple exercise if you're maybe feeling a little bit burned out and you're wanting to uh, reconnect with your community and do a little bit of stimulation of some activity in your community. It's just a little activity for you there. Impact Coworking Program is like kind of a more advanced version of Cotivation uh, that actually integrates into your space membership and it has a seasonal component with it. I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, would just love to talk to you more about it if you're interested in some more uh, involved programmatic um, work for your co-working space. This is a template for uh, event rentals. So if you're gonna be doing event rentals, it's just an editable template based on what we used. The rule of rule, super awesome. Uh, just a great way to uh, figure out kind of which different kinds of event programs you might want to organize, and depending on frequency and that kind of thing. And then for organizers, for event organizers, this was actually contributed to the group from Sarah at 804 RVA in Richmond, Virginia. Awesome group there. So if you're gonna be um, having event hosts in your space, you can use this as a starting point. And then another program, just a member show and tell. Uh, if you want to be able to run a member show and tell, this gives you a little bit of a starting point for that. And then one of my favorite events is the Welcome Aboard Member Meeting, which is kind of an orientation for new members. Again, just a little bit of material here to get you started on how to run one of those and some easy copy and pasteable uh, bits of copy for you so you can get that started real easy. Moving back into the main toolkit directory, and we are on to resources and research. Uh, this is where we've compiled a whole bunch of info from all over the web of various things that we found that could be helpful to you in your um, research, especially if you're trying to justify uh, to investors your project. Um, you can get some inspiration from this. You can get some lovely statistics. This is from deskmag.com, which is the quintessential source for research on co-working, lots of great data. You could just grab some info from these slides, put them into your deck and get people to give you money. Um, so lots of really great stuff that you can start with here. Moving on to the shared library. This is where some members have just uh, contributed a few files that they've found or created over time. So feel free to just dive in there and grab some of those and then some signage. So these are some signs that printable signs that we actually created at New York City. And so just to give you kind of a vibe for what's here, you can see that there's just a lot of different things for refilling the coffee pot, etiquette around conference room, conference room booking, emergency exit, all kinds of just like random little bits and pieces that should be really helpful to you, save you a little bit of time. You could just print all of these and um, well, you probably want to edit them first, but um, you can probably print a bunch of those and uh, be able to just save yourself a whole bunch of time as you're getting started. And gosh, that's the end of it. So that's the Coworking Toolkit. This is the result of over 10 years of creation and compilation, both for the space that I ran, for spaces that I've helped others run, um, and specifically resources I've created for you. The person out there who's creating Coworking Space, I want you to be able to get so much of this out of your way because I spent years doing this. Other people have spent years creating these things. I don't want you to have to do all of that duplicated effort. I want you to be able to take what's already been done, use it, and focus on just building an awesome and impactful community because we need more of those in the world. And so I can rant to you all day about that, but that's not what this video is about. Please uh, feel free to ask me any questions, Tony at nwc.co, again, T-O-N-Y at nwc.co. Would love to hear any of your feedback or your thoughts on this. And of course, feel free to sign up. This is included in the Newark City's Organizers Club, where we are doing all kinds of other great stuff. So enjoy this toolkit. I hope that it's super helpful to you and um, always making it better. So if you have any other ideas, specific resources you might need that I could create and add to the toolkit, please do let me know. And I hope to see you joining our Organizers Club soon. Thanks so much.